Hello, welcome back for another video. As you can see by the title, I have a shopping addiction. But apparently people like it when I go shopping. I can do hauls and y'all get ideas and I just spend way too much money. <laughs> um, so let's just get right on to the haul. If you like hauls, comment down below and subscribe and let's get into it. So I'm just gonna grab bags and see where we go from there. Um, yeah. First bag is Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, I was went to like two different Hobby Lobbies yesterday, but by the time you see this, it's probably like a week. Um, and I was looking for the Happy Planner Planet Girl Glam. Looks video coming up on that soon, if not already. I'll link it down below if it's already up. And I went to one Hobby Lobby, didn't find it, found this. You know how you go to one store looking for one thing and you come out like 40 bucks later with what you didn't want, what you weren't, what you weren't looking for. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Uh, so I'm just going to take everything out of this bag. I have two Hobby Lobby bags, so let me get the other one. Um, and one of the bags are two items I'm not going to show because they are Christmas presents. So. But then again, my dad doesn't watch my videos, but I'm still not going to show them because my siblings might watch this and they might tell my dad. So let's just, we can see this big old paper pad. Okay, this paper pad is the cutest. It's called Rose Quartz. It has six double-sided signs and five sheets each. It was on sale and it's by the Prima Marketing Inc. And the 12 by 12. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to have it. I used a 40% off coupon on it, but that's fine. It's $15 before 40% off, but they are double-sided, so I can easily make planner covers with it. So let's just go through. It's not just gorgeous. It's beautiful. And this is a Prima Marketing Ink at Hobby Lobby. I've been looking for some Christmas paper. I mean, I have a Christmas pad, but I don't have, um, I want more so I can work on these projects for a craft group. And so I found this uh, small eight by eight, 80 sheets of 12 days of Christmas. And I thought it was so cute. So there we go. Let's set one more time. A little Santa, that's so precious. Merry and bright. And then we have these uh, different saints. And that is a paper pad. So if you've been watching my videos recently, you notice I have a paper pad addiction. <laughs> I need to get more storage. Hey, do you have a paper pad problem? Let's team up and be like, hey, what should we do with all of it? Which I have ideas. And then I saw this and I was like, I am in love. It's meant to be fab. And it's just perfect for spring. It's just so perfect. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That, and that is meant to be fab from Hobby Lobby. Okay. Um, as you all know, I'm working on my holiday planner. And I found these for $4.99. And they're just 36 uh, pieces of paper, blank and shirts that I can put in it for like extra notes and whatnot that are not already in the printable. So I picked this up for it. And then I found this little guy. This is a sticker storage book from me and, my three, me and my big ideas. And you know how you see all those DIY sticker books that you can do? Well, this one, they actually have things for you. And and we open it up, you can see this big kit. So I'm going to take it out of the box. And you open it up. And you look inside. And you see... Um, you see all these dividers. So you can put like holiday, birthday, whatever. And you have these gigantic rings. So your sticker book can get pretty thick. And so this has everything for you if you're not... If you don't think you can do it. And you have labels like... You, what I'm trying to say is, if you don't think that you can get through and do this on your own, this is only $15 at Hobby Lobby, and it basically shows you how to do it. 
So here's the first divider. She's a dreamer. And then, like I said, it's good to have these big old rings, these discs, because you can fit probably um, like all your stickers. I'll show you mine when it's finished. And then we have polka dots. There's always something to be thankful for. And then we have happy, shiny, bright girls. And then the last one is this life is a beautiful life. And then right here are the pieces of paper that you can um, glue down. Um, okay. It says to peel this. So you peel it at the bottom because there's directions on the back. You peel this at the bottom and then you put uh, half of your sticker sheet on top of that. So it's quick and easy. You peel it, put it up, and you have 12 of these. I don't know if you can buy these separately, but I'm sure these are easy to make. Get some sticker paper and do that. There you go. And then just put them in whatever divider you want. And I will show y'all the finished task of this once I get mine done. Once I finish mine, I will show y'all. And like I said, this was $14.99 at Michael's and it was on sale for 30% off. So I can't wait to do this. Um, let's go to Joann's. I went to two Joann's. Uh, this is from the first, the first set. No, this is from the second trip in another city. I found these uh, stud bows on clearance for 97 cents that I can easily make charms out of. And then I found two of these um, Webster Pages designer stickers that they're also on clearance for $3 and I can use them to do whatever. They have uh, the alphas, so that would be fun. And I got two of the same kind. And then my first trip to Joann's, I got this cute Disney princess ribbon on sale for $3.97. It's never been open. I saw one at the other Joann's that was open. Same price. Didn't have a lot. This usually goes for $6.99 so I got a little more than half off. Then I found these two clear blocks on clearance for $4.97. You have a medium one and then a small one. The acrylic blocks are stamping. I thought that was a good deal. And then... Yes, another paper pad. Yeah, I know, I have a problem. But this is so cute, and these are can be good for pocket letters, planner covers. Like, you can easily use this to make your own planner cover. It has 180 sheets and was $15. I think I used a coupon. I don't remember, but I got like Joann's. And here's a flip through. There you go, and it's called Textile Stack. And that's everything I got from Joann's. And the last place I went to was Dollar Tree. I have two bags of Dollar Tree. I think it's like the most I've ever spent there. It was like $25. I know for some that's not a lot, but for me that was the first. So I'll do this bag first. And I basically got ooh, these little small boxes. They are... Um, essentials drawer organizer two pack and they have where these will you know not move and I got two in a pack and so they're two each and I pay a dollar each well of course I pay dollars dollar tree and then I got ribbon so let's see there's one more in my other bag but the dollar tree has really good ribbon and so I got these colors for a dollar they're perfect for holiday uh, tassels uh, paper clips that kind of thing so I got those. And uh, for crafting, you can do altered decks. Um, I can't remember the complete name of it, but I got some playing cards that I can alter. So that is awesome. And in my second bag, I have this pink um, gingham ribbon. It's awesome. And then I have three, where's the other one? Sneak peek into oh, in my bag. One more ribbon. It has little presents on it. So that's fun. And then I have three of these 
keychain that you can easily do um, planner charms with. I have one that's like maroon, uh, pink, and light pink. And then lavender, burnt orange, and t uh, light blue. And then we have uh, fuchsia, red, and white. And these were all a dollar that I got at the Dollar Tree. And they can easily be used for function. Uh, well, they can easily be used for planner charms. And then I got some binder clips that I can make um, a pen case for your for the planner. So that's awesome. I got some headbands to make um, planner bands for. I can't. Th I couldn't think of the name for a second. These are gonna be for planner bands, and these are also gonna be for planner bands. And then I got some color index dividers for I make my own dividers for planners. So that's awesome. I got two glue dots because my friend who I shop was shopping with said these are really good. So I got two of those. And then I got some paper clips so I can make some DIY paper clips for the planners. The ribbon and everything else. Got some glue, sti glue sticks because my friend is going to teach me how I can use these colorful ones. And lastly, I picked up tacky glue. Because tacky glue. So that is everything minus the Happy Planner stuff. I bought the Happy Planner stuff when I was out shopping and I'm not going to show it to you because I'm doing a separate video on that. So stay tuned for that video. I'll link it down below if it's already up. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please like and subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you want to see and I will make those for y'all. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.